finally getting out. Hopefully. Had a week of terrible weather. It's our first chance to go diving up here. We're going to try to get to Polaris. Anyway, so far so good. Here we are at Polaris. Let's <laughs> call it Mulva Island. <laughs> uh, there's the jetty back there. It's diveable water, thank goodness. There's plenty of fish on the sounder. And they're pretty much at the bottom of the tide, which is good. Let's do it. Well here we are out at Mulva Island, or actually it's called Polaris Island. Uh, any of the old Seinfeld fans will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, spectacular coral, um, beautiful place to dive, very, very scenic. Um, but the fish are obviously had a bit of a touch up out here because uh, they were few and far between. Some nice quality fish, but certainly had to work for them. I think that funny noise you can hear in the background is from some big ship going into the sugar wharf. It made a very unusual noise, but anyway. Sometimes you just have too much time on your shot and you put too much thought into it instead of just simply aiming at the fish and shooting it. Anyway, you'll see what happened with this one. Wasn't my best day, but uh, very same spot. we got some redemption. Not sure if it was the sound of the shot or the swearing, but it certainly brought this beautiful strawberry leopard trout out. And uh, fortunately, I didn't stuff this one up.
lovely big glass of chair. <laughs> One of the uh, funny things about the island, there was hardly any pelagic fish at all, despite being some good little pressure points and schools of bait and stuff like that. We just hung out in these spots for ages and ages, and all I saw was this one little school of, um, of Trevally. So, yeah, not very good on the uh, pelagic front. This is one of those unbelievably frustrating things that you can do when you smack straight through the trout deep into the coral and it took me a long time to get this out anyway i did finally get it but it would have been about seven clips to show you the whole thing we really try to minimize damage to the coral when we're anchoring here i can see the we dropped the anchor accidentally right on the top of this bomb with the coral and chain wrapped over it so manually move it and drop it under the sand so it won't um, cause so much damage to the reef. Many many fish. A couple of trout and a bluey. Some random cod. Beautiful country. Not many fish. Got a few trout, had to really, really work for them. There's a couple of really nice ones. That was my biggest, nice big strawberry. Another one that size and maybe slightly bigger than that. Mate, no, it's not bigger, no. Same size. Around the same, maybe a little bit smaller. Mixture of leopard trout, coastal trout. Hard work though, gotta grind it out. Hard work. Alright. 